first of all sorry i have not been able to upload uh, two videos i guess in the past two weeks i generally upload one video a week and uh, i know most of you are already here most of you are about to come because the boat is very near to the shore and uh, in this video i'm going to discuss about the things yet that you should do immediately when you come to the us as an international student uh, i i generally try to make uh, write my points so that i don't miss out on anything that is important for you to know without wasting any further time let's get started as soon as you land make sure you do your service check in now what is service check in service check in is very important as this would let the authorities in your college know that okay xyz you let's suppose you are xyz and he ha- he or she has landed in the us and everything is done i mean it is a way to let the authorities know that this guy is has entered the us and uh, once you d- do this like this involves multiple steps uh, when you clear once you clear your immigration uh, you can log into i94 website that is the official website of us government uh, if you are already here you might know that you would have gone through a uh, a check in where a customs officer had um, might might have stamped on your passport or maybe have asked you questions and then he or she puts your information in the computer and then it gets uploaded on the server so that is your record of when you entered the us and that is very important it will be required at i guess almost all the offices all the government offices and all the um important places where you need to show that you entered the us legally and once you're done uh, like you will have to submit that to the international international office at your university at asu the international office name is issc i have shown where issc is in my video i did a campus tour a tempi campus tour if you have not watched that video you make sure that you watch it i'll link it somewhere here or here and in that i showed every building that is in tempi campus and what does that building offer what does to what do students do over there be sure to check it out and let's hop on to the second point get yourself a us sim card because it is very important for you to have a sim card without that you can't even call anyone or some i mean it is important you know that right although you will have wifi everywhere but still it is suggested that you have a us sim card as soon as possible to get your things started and now when 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 you get here i have specially noted it down that once you get here the plans that Uh, us companies offer might seem very overwhelming because in india uh, let's take an example of jio or maybe airtel they have very simple plans like 490 590 i i, I don't remember the plans now but they were very they were very simple that you get 2 gb data 3 gb data whatever it is but here the intricacies are so much like you will get overwhelmed so what i would suggest you initially is to get a prepaid plan have it for one month it was 50 dollars as far as i remember my flatmate apoor took that when he came here roshan also took that and for a month they uh, went with that this 50 dollar plan in t mobile and that worked well for them and then they shifted to a family plan so that was that is what i would also suggest you guys getting on to the third point third point is get your bank account made as per my experience during the fall and take what i have seen is that banks get overwhelmed like there are thousands and thousands of students especially i'm talking about asu because i have experienced asu uh, well enough now once you get here you need to make an appointment if you want to go in person it is not like indian bank that you can walk whenever you want you can walk but it's most of the people here follow the appointment thing so that's what i would also suggest you and uh, if if je- let's suppose if you don't find any appointment there's no need to stick to one bank go to another bank open bank account there get your things started and then maybe when you find time or maybe when the, uh, the there is appointment availability in the other bank in which you were targeting go ahead and make that make an account over there also like chase is a very popular bank uh, you will find an an appointment when the fall in take is coming very it's very difficult to find an appointment at that time and maybe if you don't find an appointment in chase you can go to mid first mid first is also a very good bank like i my, uh, firstly i opened a chase bank account and then later on 2 3 months after i shifted to mid first 
I didn't shift to Midfirst, but I also opened a bank account there, and now my primary bank account is my Midfirst account itself. So it's that way. Now let's get to fourth point. Fourth point is get your college ID because initially when you come here, you don't have any form of identification. It's just your passport that you have. So get your college ID from your college, from your university. And in ASU, you will get it from Memorial Union. You'll have to upload uh, your photograph or something. I don't remember exactly, but you'll get a mail or something where you have to upload your photograph. And then in two to three days, I guess you can pick it up in person from Memorial Union. Memorial Union is again a building. If you want to know where it is, be sure to check that uh, the, the Tempe campus tour video that I made. Now hopping on to the fifth point, uh, it's, it's not as important as the previous ones for initial purposes. But yeah, get your state ID made. State ID is like, uh, I would say, Aadhaar card. Not exactly Aadhaar card, but it is something that you can somewhat resonate with that. What I mean to say. And your college, one thing that I want to specially mention is that your college ID is not a government ID. It's just a school ID. Like if I take an example, if you, if in India, if you go to some government office or somewhere and you show your school ID, they won't accept it, right? Similarly, here also you'll have to get a government issued ID made and that is state ID. Now again, I am see, see I'm not trying to publicize myself, but the blogs that I make are very informative and they are content rich. And when I went to make, uh, get my uh, state ID made, my driver's, driver's license made, I made a vlog there and I shared every detail in that video. Be sure to check it out. I'll link it somewhere here or here, wherever it is. Be sure to check it out. I guarantee you it will solve 99% of your doubts and you will be very clear about it. This was what I plan to share with you guys. These are five very important things that you need to get done. Um, I very recently few of my subscribers shifted into my community and they were like what should we buy and what should we not buy so I was suggesting them a list of items that uh, that they should buy and it, just in case if you guys also want that I can make a video on that I can share an entire cart with you that these are the very important things that you should get initially and then maybe if you want to explore more you want to get more stuff you it's your decision so if you want that card list, please let me know. I'll make a video on that. I'll be more than happy to make a video. And this is what, what I had. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope as usual, you found it content rich, quality rich. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.